Okay, this is uh, mathcoverage.com is uh, where you can get the notes um, to these uh, problems and we're working uh, limits uh, and we're trying to solve them analytically. So we start off with the really basic stuff here and that is uh, the limit of a constant as x approaches zero. So the limit of a constant is always the constant. So if we were to have a 10 here, it would just be 10 no matter what this is. Okay, we got the limit of x squared as x approaches 10. So we just plug 10 in and square it, and we get 100. So that's pretty simple. All right, moving right on to number 3. The limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches 0. So we just do direct substitution. We plug 0 in. So 2 times 0 plus 1 is going to be equal to 1 easy enough. Uh, for number 4, we just plug 0 directly in. So we have 3 times 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1. So that's easy enough. That is just 1. Alright, looking at 5 and 6, so we take the limit 1 over v as v approaches 6, so we just do direct substitution again, and we have 1 sixth. All right, plugging 4 in, direct substitution, the limit of 1 over x squared plus 16 as x approaches 4. So we do the direct substitution. We have 4 squared plus 16. And 4 squared is 16, and therefore 16 plus 16 is, I think I can do that one in my head, is 1 over 32. So you can uh, get these notes at mathcoverage.com. I've got these worked out if you want to... Uh, um, download these videos and that concludes this problem